Bro, you ain't got your mask, man. You outside your mom. Yeah. You trying to kill us. Oh, my goodness. This town needs a few more rednecks. What's up, guys? Um, You see it? It's crazy, man. Go ahead. Um, look, this guy's name is Van Jones. He's on CNN. Okay? I am not a politician. Fact. He is pro MAGA all the way. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't really go too much into politics because yeah. it's like we're not trying to divide churches out here. Nope. If you saved, then you going to heaven anyways. You know what I mean? So none of that stuff matters. The last days are here. Fact. So whether nope. this guy wins or the other guy, it don't matter. But I'm I'm gonna tell you, some people don't really view it that way. Some people think that one of the other people are gonna end racism and keep us out of bondage because they got some mojo, they got the sauce, I don't know what it is, but mm. let's take a look at Van Jones. <clears throat> it's um... Well, it's easier to be a parent this morning. It's easier to be a dad. It's easier, to, it's easier to tell your kids character matters. It matters. Tell them the truth matters. Being a good person matters. And it's easier for a whole lot of people. Back up for no reason. It's vindication for a lot of people who have really suffered. You know, the, the I can't breathe. You know, that wasn't just George Floyd. That was a lot of people that felt that they couldn't breathe. Every day you're waking up and you're getting these tweets and you just don't know, and you're going to the store, and, and people who have been afraid to show their racism are getting nastier and nastier to you, and you're worried about your kids, and you're worried about your sister. And, and can she just go to Walmart and, and get back into the, her car without somebody saying something to her? And, 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 and you spent so much of your life energy just trying to hold it together. And this is a big deal for us just to be able to get some peace and, 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 and have a chance for, for, for a reset. Man. Turn this off. Look. <laughs> Look, man. I didn't want to have to do this, okay? No, it's okay. I didn't want to have to do this today. We could have just picked tomorrow or, you know, the day after. We could have picked next year, but you did this. This is called a reality check. I, you know... I'm sorry, man. Look, whoever you voted for, God bless you. God bless America. You know, but this is unacceptable. There's there's no way in the world that he's serious. There's no way. If you feel like Joe Biden is the better president or Trump is the better president, if you feel that way, that's fine. I never really looked at politics like the final uh, confirmation to what my life is. Right. It's always God, it's always God. But this is what happens when you get so consumed with this stuff yeah. that you can't even figure out what reality is anymore. It's like, you're happy that the guy won, or so-called won, we don't know for sure, because the media is telling us a bunch of stuff. Watching this, just now, I mean to cut you off. Watching this right now just made me feel like I was watching a Stephen King movie and the news came on. I, it, it's a joke. I feel like it's a joke. Reason why it's I agree. It's all a joke, man. I agree with him. For one, people putting their trust in flesh. Like, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Then you like Amir, what you on. think about this, bro? Nothing? Then, like he said, you ain't churches surprised? divide themselves. It's, you didn't even see it. He got his headphones on. It's crazy. We don't need your face in here. Get out of here. People need to trust Yo, you, co you covered up my face. <laughs> you could have covered up your brother's face. You covered up my face. I'm sorry, your cousin. Yeah. I, I don't want to get, you know, sorry. Yeah. They they in the streets around. I'm going to tell you right now, he more polite than me. I say it like this. Oh, man. You deserve whatever you get if you voted for Biden. Oh, oh I'm going to have to so. cut this part. No, no, don't, you don't <laughs> cut it. Don't cut it. I'm being for real, man. Look. Look, man, this guy didn't even vote. I didn't vote. The reason why I didn't vote, because... And some people may get mad at people that know me. The reason why I didn't vote because I feel like whatever's going to happen is going to happen. And we had a discussion all the time, you know, not against people voting. 
totally up to you. But I will say, man, as a, if you uh, Christian, you need to look at who back in the church up. You need to look at the fact of what's going on. You know, people like he said, people divide the church over what two men, one evil greater than the next. Like it don't matter. All I say is, I didn't vote, but if I did vote, I'll go with Trump. The reason why I go with Trump because out his mouth he testified about Jesus. Out his mouth. He backs the church. I, I be. Well, <laughs> Y'all thought y'all was gonna get my political views on this video? No. <laughs> <laughs> you thought wrong. I'm not saying nothing. Yo, your career is over. Me? I'm still good. I ain't say nothing yet. Yeah, it's really not that serious though. People, people make it so serious. People make it so. We we can't have a conversation. We can't. Careers are getting ruined over this stuff. But I'm sorry if if you're gonna sit there and cry because uh, you actually think that. We got a reset now. We're finally going to get some peace because this guy is in office. I'm sorry. I don't think we're going to get a reset no matter who's in office because if God, somebody, is not in office, hallelujah, then what are we doing, man? It's just it's pointless to sit up here and cry over something like this. It, it don't make no sense, man. That's just all it is. That's all. Really, all it is is entertainment. They entertain you because that grown man went home to his wife. It's all it is. Man. I know she had to it's say something. To him. I know he, she had to say something. Why? She had man. to because. Man, will you sit down? He couldn't even talk. He was that emotional. We still over driving a van. Trump. We Biden? still driving a van. <laughs> <laughs> we trying to be like the Joneses. <laughs> Kidding. And Van Joneses. <laughs> Trying to do some extra stuff on TV. We can't even have all that, man. You crying <laughs> and making me, making them think I don't know. You sound like him. I'm sorry, I need to stop, but Yeah, somebody should have told him to stop. What are you doing right now? Yeah, let me stop, man. But look, man, I understand. I understand how people feel. They feel like this guy has caused the whole country to divide, right? Do you believe this that? This guy won. Look, man, don't ask me no questions when I'm talking. Uh, but <laughs> but nah, man. I believe in God. That's all. He trying to get me in trouble. But nah, man. Look, it, we are dividing ourselves. That's just right. that's just who we are. We're always divisive. If we have any difference, it's divisive. I mean, if somebody cooked the mac and cheese the wrong way, you know what? I just knew it was something wrong with her. <laughs> it's just something about her. It's just not right. Y'all have so much stuff in common. It doesn't matter because you've already. Looked at the Van Jones video on CNN where he crying and we already got a difference right there. Yeah. <coughs> I agree with Trump. What he said. They loot. He in this video. Real. You say Trump one more time. I'm just gonna end the video because you're making me mad. I'm just Yo, God stop enough. laughing in the background for real. It's God. For real, you're gonna lose your job. It's God enough. And that's all I can say. You the towel holder. Give me a water. No, dang, I'm racist. I, I shouldn't it. have said that. Y'all gotta pick, man. God said love, not the world. Come on, y'all gotta pick. Trump or Biden. It's, we ain't got a lot of time. Oh, you talking about something else? <laughs> <laughs> they gonna go with Biden, you know? Y'all gonna bypass all this, uh, if you look at the video, you know, choose your side. information. Choose the day who you gonna serve, Trump or Biden? No, 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 it's say, it's the Joshua 24, 15. Pick the day who you gonna serve, God or the devil. You only got two choices. If you pick one of the presidents to be your God, if you wanna vote, fine, go ahead, man. But if you picking one of these people to be your God and you don't notice that, you can't do this, man. You can't do this. You have to understand who is God at the end of the day. We can't sit here and fight because somebody want to go with another person. A place of deliverance. Who is this walking in? Excuse me, we're we're doing a video here. You're messing it up. Who is this? I can't see. Retard kicking. Okay, I'm just making sure when somebody else going to beat me up. Well, uh, she walked in, ruined our video, so. Can you give me some ginger ale? Excuse me, can, can we leave the side conversations for after the video's done? Uh, Michaela, would you like to say anything about this election that we just had? <laughs> yeah, you heard it here first. Ashley Keaton, uh, Mitchell Madness from CEO Fingers Dipped in Red. Man, we're out of here. God bless you. Peace.